road again Just can't wait to get on the road again well, we hired uh, Fugro to come in and do an assessment of all of the city streets for, uh, for pavement condition, uh, as well as to do a striping inventory. This is actually the second data set that they've collected for us. What it's going to let us do is make smarter decisions on how, when, and where we pave uh, around the city. Basically, it takes it out of your hands of having to monitor every each and every road. But Correct. And really, the road networks are so big these days that it just really isn't feasible uh, for people to do windshield surveys anymore. There's a lot of uh, difference of opinion, and, and this just takes kind of the human element out of that and makes it a much more data-driven operation. So this is the ACS collection software. We used it, this to collect our data, street data. This is the map here. And we navigate with this. All these uh, lines, these are the uh, sections that we need to collect. And the little bitty guy moving right here, this is the actual vehicle that's got a GPS located to it. So it knows exactly where it's at. This is the list of all the, the the streets that we will be collecting that correlate to the lines on the map. This is the video and this is the pavement. The video correlates to the right-of-way camera up front and the pavement here is the pavement LCMS system in the rear. Well, you have your IRI sensors, which is the International Roughness Index uh, sensors. They constantly check the, the road, the roughness that will go straight through. Um, they measure distance, height over distance uh, of the, the road. Uh, you have the two, the, the laser in the back, the, the uh, LCMS lasers. They do the rut and the profile of your road. That's your little rut that you, you kind of feel in the road all the time, and it actually gives you the profile of the road, the, the, the slant. Okay, whenever you get a chance to turn around, you can, and we'll test it back. Um, the, if you want, it shows that you can just block around. Um, we have GPS, uh, the, the pause, this is part of the GPS to give you a view here. That's the, this is not like your normal Garmin, but we have, that's our satellite that we see here. We have, uh, the primary and the secondary receivers. very expensive GPS system on here. Uh, it, it works in conjunction with an IMU, which is the inertial uh, movement uh, unit, and the uh, DMI, which is the distant measurement, uh, in, and all of that works in conjunction getting your position. Basically, you need to be as accurate as possible. Yes. Positioning. Correct. So, this one will start at the light. Um, and we have all kinds of, uh, you know, safeguards. I, want, I don't want to use the word safeguards, but we have other uh, little pop-ups that will tell us if we're, you know, any errors that are come up that kind of tell us that uh, we're we've lost signal or the signal's been degraded or whatever that maybe we need to reboot or um, we've lost the signal and maybe there's a, a system issue. So any of those things that we have, but all of those systems, I mean, with the computers, the IRI, the, uh, the camera up front that does the the right-of-way, the surveyor, all of this works in conjunction together 
We ship all this data to the office. They put all of that with the requirements that the DOT or the cities have given them. And all that data is put into some type of package that they give to the client to then when they get that data, how do they use that data? Um, there's many different ways. Uh, I'm not privy to all that information, but it could be from whether they need to pay, repave a street, whether a certain contractor, I guess, has done the work on the street, and or if it's the street's been done correctly, or if they're using a different type of asphalt and they're trying different types of asphalt, I don't know. I mean, it's just, there's different things that they do with the data. What that is, each state has got their own um, requirements once they get it. How wide of a view are you getting from your cameras just from one lane? Oh, let me see here, I wanna show you. You're getting pretty much all the way from building to building. Really, just one pass all pretty much gets it anyway. Correct, because what they do with the, the, depending upon the project, they can use what they call surveyor. Surveyor does what we call as, uh, asset extraction. So once we calibrate uh, the camera with the surveyor, uh, hang on here, uh, we'll do a write out. We can count the, all the signs, all the fire hydrant, anything that they want in this view of that camera. They, they can automatically extract those assets. Traffic is kind of one of our biggest things because of the kind of turns that we make. Um, everybody, you know, half the time they think we're the Google, the Google truck. Um, and so everybody, for some reason, thinks this is the goop, you know. I have no idea why. It doesn't look like it. I know, but they, for some reason, think this is the Google. We're going to make a right on Eldon Street. To get a lot of strange looks from folks. Yes. Uh, strange, strange, or it usually causes more congestion. <laughs> because they're trying to figure out what we're doing. Get to see a lot of different places, I imagine. Yeah, that's the other good thing about it. You get to see a lot of stuff that you wouldn't normally see anyway. And that's the fun thing I think it is for me because I like to go in the woods and like to see what people do. So once they supply you with the data, what will you do with it? The end result is that we get a map that will tell us the conditions of all of the city streets. Uh, it's essentially almost like a, a school grading scale from zero to 100. Uh, zero being a street that's in very, very poor condition and 100 being a street that's in excellent condition. Um, we're able to make decisions on where to put the resources that we've got available based on that mapping. We're trying to get this done about every three to five years. Um, as, we, uh, as we go around and repave roads, there are other roads that are deteriorating. And in time, we don't have a means of modeling that in-house, so we need to get the data updated periodically to, to keep on top of things. And this really is a neat example of how technology has just jumped so far ahead and enables you to do stuff like this much more efficiently, I guess. Oh, it is. It's amazing uh, the the level of data and information that we can pull from this. Um, the vans are loaded with a uh, really sophisticated um, array of sensors. Anything from ride quality to crack mapping to the type of cracking that a road is, is experiencing. And all those give us a better idea of what treatment type we should be proposing for city streets. And it's doing each and every inch of, what, seven, 800 miles of roadway? Correct. We have um, approximately 800 center line miles of road, or excuse me, lane miles of road, and it will be covering every square inch of that with these uh, data sweeps. 
We do plan on, uh, we will have a consultant that's going to be doing an analysis on the data as well, uh, looking at possibly getting into some of the pavement preservation techniques. Um, there are more ways to treat roads these days than what the city has historically done. We've done some experimenting with that um, and possibly expect to expand on that based on what the consultant's going to tell us. And again, this is, uh, like I said, you probably know some of the problem areas already. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, this, this will help back it up. It also lets us do some benchmarking on how are we doing. Um, do we need to push to try and ask for more resources towards paving? Um, and um, and again, we'll, we'll hopefully show that we're making the progress that we think we are on, on getting more of the city streets into those good and very good condition uh, indexes. On the road again Just can't wait to get on the road again The life I love is making music with my friends And I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Going places that I've never 